In this video, we will look at rates, what they are, how to calculate them, and how to use them in practice. You can start and stop this video at any time to suit your needs. A ratio is a relationship between like quantities or variables. Rates are a special type of ratio. It's a way to compare two variables with different units. Some examples include three penguins for $10, or 42 exams per class. Wherever we hear the term per, such as kilometres per hour, or four, as in eight books for a dollar, we know that it's referring to a rate. Words like to each and for every are also clues that a rate is being used. Here are some typical examples of how rates are used. Rates often involve some element of time. Flow rates, service rates and speed are all time-based rates. For example, a common question about speed may be, what is the average speed of a race? So how do we calculate a rate? Let's say we want to find out how well a student is moving through a program of reading levels. This student started at level 0 and after two months has moved to level 6. We can say that the learning rate is 6 levels for two months. While this is a valid form to present such a rate, it is a little cumbersome. By dividing the values 6 by 2, we achieve a simpler form. This is called a unit rate which determines the value in comparison to a single unit. In this case, the unit rate is three levels per month for our student. This can also be written with a slash. The learning rate of the second student is calculated in the same way. In this case, she has been on the program for six months and has progressed to level nine. This gives a learning rate of 1.5 levels per month. When comparing rates, it's useful to firstly convert to unit rates. After that, we can readily see which unit rate is bigger or smaller. For example, here we can conclude that the first student is learning faster, and even though she is still at a lower level than the second student, she will soon catch up. Rates can also be used to make inferences or predictions. We can use them to predict how a student will continue to improve their reading. For example, if a student keeps improving at this rate, what will their reading level be after six months? From what we calculated, our student was moving through the levels at a rate of three levels per month. The predicted level is the learning rate multiplied by time. So it takes three levels per month times six months. This results in a prediction that the student will reach level 18 by the end of six months. Not a bad achievement by the student. We hope this presentation has helped you consolidate your knowledge on rates and how they are applied. Further resources and practice questions can be found on the LEO site.